Okay, so today we're going to look at an example problem of a cantilevered beam with two forces. A cantilevered beam, if you recall, is a beam that's only connected at one end. It's a fixed end, and so at point A, as you can see right here, point A does not um, rotate or move. We have two forces, two 10 kip forces, and the two 10 kip forces are what we call a couple. A couple is when you have two forces that are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. And they must be parallel. Okay, So that's our couple. So what we're going to do is we're going to determine the resultant moment about point A of the force system. Um, so let's start off by finding the, f the, the distances. We have the first force, we'll call this one F1, and the second one F2. And so if we take a positive sign convention of being counterclockwise, okay, and we sum the moments, we look at the moments about point A, we get 10 kips times 10 feet for F1, okay, and that's in a negative sense because it's going counterclockwise about point A, so I'll put a negative in front of there, and then we have another 10 kips, and it is 15 feet from point A, okay, and it is trying to spin in a counterclockwise sense, so that would give a positive, okay, and that is equal to the moment about point A. So if we do the math, we get minus 100 kip feet plus 150 kip feet equals the moment about point A, or we get 50 kip feet equals the moment about point A. Now it's interesting to note here, this is the nature of a couple. The nature of a couple, if we look up here, the moment a couple is equal to the force times the distance between. So for instance in this case we have 10 kips times 5 feet is 50 kip feet. So the unique aspect of a moment of a couple is that it is constant about all points. Okay, so let's say we looked at that same couple and we looked at it in a different cantilever that was extended 15 more feet out. Okay, so let's take the exact same cantilever here. Now what do we expect the answer to be? Well, we expect the answer to be what? It should be the same. It should be 50 kip feet, okay, in this sense, or positive, okay, and let's prove that to ourselves. Let's do the same thing as we did before. So the moment about point A is going to equal 10 kips times 15 feet, that's F1, and it has a sense counterclockwise, so we'll put a negative in front of that, plus 10 kips times 20 feet, okay, and that's positive because it's going in a counterclockwise sense, and if we do the math on here, MA is equal to minus 150 kip feet plus 200 kip feet is equal to 50 kip feet and that is in a positive sense. So we can see that no matter what point we take, the as we change distances away from the couple, the effect of the first one, okay, the effect of the first one here about point A cancels out the additional effect of the second one about point A. And we always end up with the same value. So the final answer here is whenever 
when we have a couple it is constant moment about all points. Now this is limited of course to uh, two-dimensional space. And if you want to prove it to yourself, take the moment about say point B, point C, and let's pick point D that's halfway in the middle and prove it to yourself that the moment will still end up being 50-50.